Jeff Lecture, Oakland's College. Uh, I've been a teacher for 12 years and I've got two of my students today. I've got Lily. Say hi, Lily. Hello. I've got Brandon. Hello. Hi. So hi, Lily. So, so tell me about yourself. What are, you, what are you doing at Oakland? I'm studying hospitality and catering, level one VRQ. Okay, so Brandon? Yeah, I'm also studying uh, VRQ uh, level one in hospitality and catering. Okay, so tell me about um, your time at Oakland. Uh, what led you to study here and about what you enjoy most at Oakland? Lily? Um, I've enjoyed being at Oakland. Um, it's, I wanted to study here because I'm passionate about cooking and I wanted to learn new skills uh, that I haven't learned already at school. And, um, and what I enjoy the most is cooking a new dish every week. Okay, excellent. Brandon? So I've been at um, Oakland's nearly a year now. And in that time, I found that like the tutors are like very friendly and approachable when you need help. So that's like that. really helped with like progress. Yeah. So I feel like that's really helped me develop skills. Excellent. And I think the best part is just like finding people with the same passion as you. Excellent. Yeah, yeah good point. And uh, you all talked about dishes. Um, so what, what was, what's your best, your favourite dish you've cooked this year, would you say? The poached pear and shortbread biscuit. Thanks. Oh, you stole it. <laughs> what about you, Brandon? Uh, I was going to say the poached pear and shortbread biscuit, but I think I'm going to have to go with... Cockle Van was quite good to cook. Well, that was quite fun. Why, why was that? Why was it fun? Um, just you learn new things, like new techniques when you do certain things. So it's fun learning how to like dissect the chicken and then different techniques used. Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. Um, did you have any experience uh, of uh, catering before you came to college? I did. Before, yeah, um, I used to work um, at a place called Willows Farm okay. in the food and beverages department. And I worked as a waitress. And um, so I have experience in the hospitality, basically. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brandon, this is from you. Um, I didn't actually have much um, experience before I started. I, obviously, I did my work experience in the butchers. Yeah. But that's as far as experience I've got with hospitality and catering. Well, your dad was a chef as well, though, wasn't he? Yeah, he worked in, um, what's it called? Hawkins Hotel up in London. Yeah, so you, you obviously knew about you know yeah. his work and what he did and sort of, he'd be sort of telling you stories, I expect. So that was, you saw you got a little bit of background information from I that can, alone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Um, so what would you say has been a major highlight of your student life? Uh, what would you share to potential students? So if you had a potential, potential student come in, what would you say to them about what you do? Well, being in the kitchen is like so much fun. Um, as I said, we learn new skills every week and, you know, we can use that in our, in our future, like for our jobs um as chefs and the teachers are very welcoming at first and they're always there if we need any help so it's Brilliant. thank you yeah uh brandon what do you think about that so I'll, i'd say one of my major highlights was definitely going to what uh going to the shard and then getting like the experience that yeah yeah you get to see like different aspects like of the catering hospitality yeah brilliant Brilliant. Um, uh, obviously, being a chef is quite a pressurised job. Um, some of you have worked in it. I know mean, both of you have part-time jobs. Um, um, so is this a factor in the course, working under pressure? You got any examples? Yeah. So, so for exams, we have a time limit to cook. So we have that kind of thing that we also practised before. So we have practised the dish before so we can easily just get through it yeah and hopefully do it brilliant now Brent, what do you think what's about what do you think about that yeah i feel like it's um like the pressure is something you sort of just get used to like it sort of develops over time as you get more experience in the kitchen as you become more aware where things are and your life skills improve yeah yeah good yeah yeah because you've all done you've done about six seven tests now practically yeah. so it's getting, you know what's coming, don't you now? So it's getting a little bit easier, but the tests are getting a bit harder as such. Yeah, yeah so, um, 
How do you work within the team? You think you're good team players? I'd say I am, yeah. 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 As a class, like our whole class, we're like we work as a team. We do work together and like we listen to each other and we have good communication skills. So we always listen to the teachers as well, so we don't like hurt ourselves or something like that. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, good. And uh, obviously, you do the work experience. You work on a Thursday night in the restaurant. So you work yeah. within a few of your colleagues work together. Uh, so how have you found work experience? Yeah, it's it's a good way to practice, like, with the public. So, like, we're actually talking to the public and just, like, it's like an actual, like, work like environment so okay. it's giving us experience in yeah. that kind yeah. of area excellent yeah so what um, you've done some work experience in the restaurant how do you find that brandon i'll say it's as much as it can be hard it's good to see like the other sides so what we don't usually see so we're usually in the kitchen cooking but it's also good to see what the waiters have to experience yeah 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 yeah, and dealing with the public and dealing with the yes. chef from the house because it's good communication skills, which is really important as a not just as a chef but as a, a front of the house as well. Uh, so, what inspired you to be a chef then? I'll ask you, Brandon, this one. All right. So, I was, I was actually inspired by three people in particular, two being um, family uh, family rem- uh, members who have um, worked like quite high up in restaurants. Which so we had my daddy worked in um, Halkins Hotel, and then my uh, great grandfather worked at Bulls the QE2. Wow, yeah. And then I also look up to like Gordon Ramsay, obviously having many Michelin styled restaurants and ever other things. Yeah. Okay. Was that is that what you'd like to inspire to? Aspire to? Yeah. 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 That sort of level, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Lily, what about you? Who inspired you? Well, I just kind of was just like, I want to be a chef. Like I was watching cooking videos and I was like, I really enjoy cooking. So I thought I'll just be a chef like because I enjoy it. Brilliant. So yeah, I think you've answered this question already. So what about you, Lily? What's your future career ambition? You know, after college, maybe. What 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 would you like to do? I would like to work in a restaurant as a chef um, and just work my way up. Um, but at one point, I would like to have a restaurant on my own. Your own, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Uh, what new skills have you learned at college? Would you say? What skills have you learned? Work, being able to work in a team and like having social skills, like make, making new friends and like lots of skills in the kitchen. So our knife skills, like our time management in the kitchen, just a lot of skills. Excellent. Excellent. Brandon, what, what skills have you learned? Yeah, so I think working in the kitchen has definitely taught me uh, like, time management that's definitely a key thing now whereas like you can tell how it's improved from the start where I was doing one thing at a time to now multitasking and opening up to do things quicker and then I think I um, also learned like different knife skills that's like developed throughout the year excellent yeah good um so what advice would you give to a, a, a new Oakland student I think we might have done this already we'll do it again what advice would you give to a new student if you had a chance? I think that this course is really good if you want to become a chef because you learn skills and it will help with your future just if you want to be a chef. So, Brandon? Yeah, I'll just the one thing I'd like to touch on is if you want help, don't be afraid to ask for it. Like The teachers are friendly and approachable, so... Don't be scared to ask, even if like you think the question's dumb, it's not. Because like there's always room for improvement. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if you give give me just one word about Oakland and about being a chef, give me one word. Mm. Culture. Lily, good word. Um, I think. I don't know. It's just fun, enjoyable. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you. I'm going to stop the video now and we'll just have a quick chat at the end. Mm -hmm. Right.